Hello, in this video I'll be going over the proof for Stewart's theorem. So what Stewart's theorem tells us is that in triangle ABC for a point D on side BC, we have M times B squared plus N times C squared equals A times D squared plus MN. In other words, we can choose any point D on BC and construct segment AD. Stewart's theorem will tell us the relationship between all of these side lengths with this formula. In the formula, see that there are a lot of squares. We see that there's b squared, c squared, also d squared. That suggests that we'll be using the law of cosines in our proof. To prove Stewart's theorem, we'll be using the law of cosines in triangle ABD and triangle ADC. To figure out which angles we're gonna use in the law of cosines, See that angle ADB and angle ADC together form a straight angle. Um, so let's start off with the law of cosines in triangle ABD. So we have C squared equals M squared plus D squared minus 2MD cosine angle ADB. Now using the law of cosines, in triangle ADC, we have B squared equals N squared plus D squared minus 2ND cosine angle ADC. Now, in our Stewart's theorem formula, we don't see any cosines, so somehow we want to get rid of these two terms. Now, we know um, a cosine identity that relates supplementary angles, that is cosine theta equals negative cosine 180 degrees minus theta. In other words, if we have two supplementary angles, their cosines are gonna be the, oppo the opposites of each other. So in our diagram, we have angle ADB and angle ADC. They're supplementary. So that tells us that cosine of angle ADC equals negative cosine angle ADB. Now we can substitute this in for our equation here. We have equation. Uh, so substituting it, we have uh, B squared equals N squared plus D squared minus, oh, instead of minus, it's a plus because the signs cancel out, plus 2ND cosine angle ADB. So that's our result when we substituted this in for this equation here. And we substituted this in for this term. Um, looking at our two equations, we still want to cancel out these two terms. And they're almost identical, except for uh, we have an m here and an n here. Um, so what we could do is multiply the top equation by n, and then the bottom equation by m. Then these two terms will be exactly identical. So let's multiply the top equation by n. Now let's multiply the bottom equation by m. Since these two terms are exactly identical now, we can add them together and they'll cancel out. Here's just a little bit of simplification. Uh, we can take the mn out of the first two terms. Leaves us with n plus m. Then we can take out the d squared from these two terms. Also left with n plus m. Finally, take out the n plus m. Left with d squared plus m n. Actually, going back to our diagram here, we see that m plus m is equal to a. So substituting that in, we're left with a times d squared plus m n. And that's it. That's our proof for Stewart's theorem. I hope you found this video helpful. Um,